So without further ado, I wanted to introduce Scott Sanders. Scott, um, I'm going to do a quick introduction to you, and then you'll share your screen and start your case study. Um, Scott Sanders is a particular joy because he is a irascible curmudgeon who hates Facebook and had no interest whatsoever in learning to be a digital marketer. But what he realized, whether he liked it or not, is that in order for Tobacco Barn Distillery, his small business, to succeed, he needed to talk to customers online. And unfortunately, he drew the, law, the short straw among his partners. And Scott, you took the bull by the horn, you did beautiful work with organic Instagram postings, and you had incredibly impressive results in your campaign. It's with great pride that I welcome you as one of our featured speakers, Scott Sanders, congratulations. And uh, I got to say, um, you might not like Facebook, but Facebook likes you. Well, thanks, Dan. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and share my screen here. Yes, please. And thanks for the intro as an irascible curmudgeon. Uh, my wife will love that. Thank you very much. Okay, I'll start my timer. So here is... Tobacco Barn Distillery, we've talked about that. This is the, the story of us. Uh, I'm a, I am used to be in the Navy, and I ran the international counter-piracy off Somalia. That kind of gave me the inklings of starting this, because I used to hand out bourbon uh, to all the international uh, partners I had. Here, it shows me handing one out to a Chinese admiral. And that just gave me the idea that, hey, this bourbon, that's a great way to bring the people together, just soft talk them in there and get things done. And then in the middle there, you see my three partners or my two partners, Dan and Sean. The one on the right, Dan, he used to uh, distill in the late 70s during the fuel crisis. So he knew the processes. He knew that. And then on the right, you kind of see our, our tasting room and our distillery and our uh, Rick House. It's in a beautiful uh agricultural community right on the Chesapeake Bay. In fact, my coach from down here, Barbara Zapato, is on. So thanks for joining us today, Barbara. Um, here's the uh, the pillars of my Real Laugh campaign. My target audience, mainly drawing from Northern Virginia, the big population centers in Maryland around the D.C. area. And it, it was mainly men who I targeted. We ended up getting a lot of women coming in. And, it, and it's in between the 26 to 56 uh, year old because we don't we're alcohol we don't uh target younger people we we offered them up a free bag of char from one of our bourbon barrels and got a little bit of traction from that you'll see put out a uh, our compelling message was was about father's day we i did a call to action with a um on facebook uh as Dan said, I was not used to Facebook, but it worked out. We had a form. I've gotten one person to sign up from that, but I'll show you the results from it later because I'm not saying I'm the best on this yet. Uh, I had a whopping ad budget of almost $70, and you can see the impressions what we've gotten down to. Uh, to date, we've gotten $394, and by the way, I probably did this return on ad spend wrong. Uh, I think I got a B minus at the Naval Academy in Mass. So this is really about a 5.5 to 1 ROI if you work it that way. So basically every 18 cents I've spent so far, I get a dollar back. And by the way, I have leads that are coming in at the end of the month. So this is kind of the gift that keeps on giving. So learning's the biggest ahas is that, yeah, Facebook is hard, but you just got to do it. Uh, and it's also to, to use the concepts from the Facebook platform on other platforms. Uh, there's a whole lot of pieces I didn't understand, like organic versus paid ads. The value of your networks is just immense. That, that really found that. I, we had a, a network person that came in last night and bought a personal barrel of bourbon from us. And that's at 15, that's $5,000 at, at a pop. So those networks are the same thing with uh, email lists. Uh, what's next for us? We're going to create a LinkedIn page. We're going to get into email marketing because I really want to leverage that. We're we're, we have a bunch of YouTube videos and we're pro we might think about doing a podcast because people like that and uh, create monthly content for other partners. So working back and forth. So I can't thank 
Alex, you enough. Dan, you enough. Marianne, you are the superstar of BizHack. So thank you for everything done. And Cheryl is my coach. You were just awesome for putting up for this curmudgeon. So thank you very much. <laughs>